Uh, the gym was turned, man. Uh, felt the energy tonight. Um, obviously, uh, playing on our home floor um, in front of your home fans, you get a, you know, a bit of a boost. Uh, so, yeah, I felt like the energy was there tonight. That's the answering. I'm all right. Is it more fun to play when it's almost unpredictable who's, who might you know, have a great game? It feels like every time they all step on the court, it can be a different group of three or four guys that play really well. Yeah, um, balance, man. Uh, having, you know, a different lean score pretty much every game, um, different guys, multiple guys in double figures, uh, that's a plus for us. So, you know, being able to, you know, have multiple guys that can come in and, you know, do that for you uh, is, you know, great to have. Um, I feel like a good problem to have as well. So. <laughs> it's how you celebrate when, when you give up. Um, yeah, that's my dog, points. man. I've been telling him, man. He, he ain't been pee. He ain't been scoring. He been crying, been wanting to score. I had to tell Dez to yell at him and tell him, man, just get the foul. He's going to play aggressive. He just got in the game. Just get the foul. We in the bonus. Knock your free throws down. Get your name in the paper. <laughs> when, he, when he's really out shot clocks at the end of games, doing like the sports. I hate thing. it. Yeah, you're telling the truth. Not unless it's like, you know, respect for the game. But if it's two minutes, one minute up there, he better shoot the ball. <laughs> We almost forgot you was hurt the way you reacted when you <laughs> Nah, I was one one leg. <laughs> hey John, you know, the first three games you had you guys had little troubles in the third quarter. It seemed like the last four games you guys have kind of we've rectified that. Do you think you've got finally got where to take the play of a complete close to the forty, of complete forty? Uh, yeah, man, we you know, taking the possession at a time, trying to, you know, win each possession. Um, obviously I feel like we were very more locked in, you know, coming out in the second half. Uh, I felt like, you know, I could have dumbed down the pace a little bit so we won't rush shots early, you know, in the third quarter. And if we go cold and teams, you know, get hot, that was, you know, our downfall. So I'm just trying to balance it out, make sure we get, you know, good shots, make sure we have good pace. And then, you know, once we get stopped, that's, you know, opportunity to run. So that's pretty much, you know, sure. what we've been doing. Sorry, sorry if it was asked already, but what was that interaction between uh, you and LeBron? Like, what was your perspective on that, that first half? Uh, I mean, I think I did it too small to somebody who was too small. I mean, he came back and did it respectfully. You know, he's six eight, whatever. I would, I would expect it. I thought it was a charge. Uh, he did it, and I don't back down from nobody. Don't care who you are. Um, my my job was to just come back. I got my bucket, and you know, I set the tone. My teammates fed off of it, and you see what happened. So, um, top dog in our league. Take out the top dog, you know. Who else you you fear? You get up. Man. I don't fear nobody anyway. But yeah, I ain't I ain't had to you know I ain't had to get up. I ain't I ain't been down. John, what was it like to? I mean, obviously when you went out of the game, it was frustrating. But to see the team take that lead, even even the high. I wasn't surprised when I went out. I just wanted to be on the floor. I knew we was winning the game. What is it about this Lakers team? It always. I don't like them. <laughs> they knocked me out of the playoffs. And then last last year we you know had a game and they came in here and popped it on our home floor when I was in street clothes. So I wasn't a night. I told them that last time too. You talked about you know over the course of a game, early in the game, you, you get to figure out what they're doing to you, how they're defending you, that sort of thing. Falling. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. We speak on that falling. That's why I didn't play the rest of the game. Falling. So let's talk about it. Over you over the. The course of your career, though, is that something you feel like you just gotten better and better? Nah, it's worse. No, nah. I might as well try to dunk and shit. I would get more foul calls with that. Has tonight been building since you told LeBron last time? Wait till I suit up. You said what? Has tonight kind of been building? Nah, like nah. He was just next on the schedule. Lakers, actually. I won't even say him. Lakers. And then you know they beat us last time. I didn't get to play like I said last year. They came on our home floor, beat us on our home floor, was laughing, playing, looking at me, talking. Um, you know, my message was I was in street clothes. Um, this is my first opportunity to get back on the floor playing against them. Um, I bring first, you know, whoever. Uh, then the situation happened, which pretty much got me going. And so I, sorry, because Brad's just been talking about Yeah. Uh, like I said, yeah. Um, so. Um, Coming into the night, I was just, you know, trying to win the game. It was our home floor. Um, and make sure, you know, everybody else was ready. Um, obviously, uh, most of them had, you know, a heavy heart, you know, dealing with coach, um, you know, prayers.
prayers out to him and his fam. Uh, so it was pretty good to, you know, get him a win on his day, you know, something special to let him know he, he has a family, you know, here in his locker room. Uh, Yuki get his first points and Tomas get his first wins. So special day for us. You've been out here if you might play product. Uh, we'll see. No question now? No, I was just asking. I, I know it had been addressed before, but can you speak on the injury? And yeah, we'll see uh, when Grizzly PR you follow that. Yeah, yeah there too. <laughs> <laughs> Is that one last question? Yeah. You know, every time coach come, we, uh, uh, opposing coach come in, they take that back the head of the snake, which is you. But with you guys being so balanced, how much difficult it is to just to contain you and still try to get a win against it's you? It's difficult guys. to take out the head of the snake, regardless. I, I, we were trying to take out the head of the snake tonight. You see, you still had forty. <laughs> uh, the, your job is is to you know not try to you know take it away, but you know make every shot every possession, you know, tough for that person. Um, I feel like J.J. is, you know, a great mind. Um, he thinks the game well, sees the game differently. Um, so, honestly, I didn't know what to expect, you know, coming in. I, we had different coaches coaching them previous years. But um, it was the same thing. Uh, tried to go under, try to, you know, down on the sidelines. Um, I was, yeah. That would have been 20K. But, um, <laughs> yeah, man, we won. Let's just call it at that. Man. I planned on getting fined on this, but.